Our game magazine here today with Free Angle of the Haas Foul, uh, soccer team and women's professional league here in Germany. Um, today you had a 2 nothing victory in their third game since the winter break. Uh, how did that feel? Um, it felt really good, especially because um, they were directly below us in the league, so this win really put us um, in front of them. and. Now we feel a little bit safer, even though it's not over yet, but that was really important for us. Now you might need to explain to our viewers uh, in North America, um, it's very important to leave them behind you because they're currently on what would be a relegation spot, is that correct? Yeah, right. So the last two teams in the league get moved down one league in the end of the season. So we don't want to be in those two spots. No, definitely not. Now you didn't have many wins in the first half of the season, so uh, this Coming out of the winter break, you've now won today, and you lost your last game, and then you had a big one one tie, I believe yeah. it was, against um, Potsdam yeah. a few weeks ago. Are, are you? Do you think the team is happy with the way you've come out of the winter break? Yeah, we're definitely happy um, with the start, and now we just have to be careful that we keep this up, because the season is long still, so we can't be happy now with what we have, but we still have to look forward for every game to come. Well, what are your goals in the second half of the season, aside from avoiding relegation? Um, we're just trying to look from game to the game. So we, today we won, which is really good. And now on Wednesday we have our next game. And that's going to be the ne next big task. And we definitely want to win that one too, because they're really close to us in the league too. So if we play those teams and we can win, um, that would really help us. So pretty much we're just trying to win every game we can. Well, speaking of Wednesday, you'll be playing against uh, Bayern Munich, uh, the team from Munich, I'll say. And uh, now in men's soccer, of course, this is pretty much the biggest club in Germany uh, and well known throughout the world. Uh, how is their women's program? What do you, what do you expect from them on the field? Um, they're not as good as the men's team. Um, you can't say that they're the best team in the league, but they're still. Um, they should be more in the top half. But this season they didn't have a good start, so now. Um, they're on the bottom like us, but um, they're definitely a good team, so we have to be careful. Definitely got to be ready for every opponent. Yeah. Now, as for yourself, I mean, how, did, how did you get into soccer? Um, I don't even really remember because my dad played when I was really little. We always went to his games, uh, my two siblings and I. Um, and then my sister started playing, and then one time I just went with her and yeah, so I started playing. And that's also why for the first probably seven, eight years of my uh, soccer career, I always played with older people because my sister is two years older um, and I was almost always on her team, so. All right, all right. Well, by the time you were 15, 16, you were already playing here in the first team, is that correct? Yeah. That's now, true. that's something not everyone's able to do. Um, uh, tell me, how, how, how did that come to be? I mean, what steps in your development did you need to take to, to be able to play at such a young age? Um, so, the first big step was that um, a lot of my teammates and I, we transferred to Haas Foul, the youth club. Um, and so I played there, I think, since I was 13 probably. Um, and so if you play for them, they pretty much always have an eye on you. And then when you get old enough um, and you're good enough, they ask and let you practice with them and then sometimes if they need people you can get in earlier. That's um, what happened to me. Um, I was playing on the second team first but then the first team needed people because a lot of people um, got hurt and so the coach just asked me if I wanted to play and then yeah. So you took your opportunity and uh, flew on from there. Mm -hmm. um, in those first few seasons with the Haas Foul, did you always have a feeling that, okay, I'm just one of the young ones, I just got to follow everyone else, or did you already want to show the world what you were capable of? Um, I think the first two seasons, I was probably just following because I was also always really shy and I never wanted to be the one to stand in front of everyone. and um, so. Also because I was really young, I pretty much um, just played as well as I could, but I never um, took um, responsibility really. Um, but then I realized that I was almost playing every game, and so I started to become more confident too, and um, yeah, to be a little more responsible for 
team too. All right, well, let's look at the word shy and, and confident. Um, your next step was you decided to, to head overseas mm -hmm. yeah. to go to school, I believe for all four years yeah, all four in years. the States uh, and play soccer there. And as everyone knows, women's soccer is a, is a very big thing over there. Yeah. Um, if you're a little on the shy side, I mean, how do you, how do you make it such a big decision? Um, it was just, it was always my dream to play there because in all the big movies, you always hear people go play college soccer in the United States and um, I heard a lot about it. My sister was in the States um, for one year during high school and I was always a little bit jealous because it sounded like so much fun and um, yeah, I, I just thought if I don't do it now, I probably won't do it ever. Um, yeah, and so I just, I just did it. I don't even know really. Well, we have a lot of colleges in the United States. How did you end up picking I believe it was American International American University. University, excuse yeah. me. Uh, that's located in Washington, D.C. Uh, yeah, how did that come to be? Um, it was a little bit through context because my dad um, used to work here too, and so he knows a lot of people all over the world. And um, then the coach, somehow, we contacted the coach um, through, I don't even know how we met him, but um, yeah. Somehow we just talked to him and he wanted me and then it was all pretty quick because I decided pretty late to go there. So yeah. And uh, how difficult was it for you to, to do uh, academic things over there? I mean, mm -hmm. you, you probably had school English up to that point in time, yeah. so it's a big jump to, to living your entire life in another language and doing schoolwork as well. Yeah, um, the schoolwork actually wasn't that bad because I was my school here was pretty difficult, so because um, I did biology, I already had most of the stuff we did during the first year, um, so I could get used to the language a little bit better. And yeah, it was at first it was difficult just because I didn't know the words, um, but overall it wasn't the transition wasn't that bad, especially because if you do all the reading and all the homework, you learn pretty quickly. And how was the competition there in comparison to what you knew here? For soccer? Yes. Um, well, the Patriot League isn't that strong of a league, so I was a little, the um, competition was a little less, mm, it was different. I can't say it was worse because um, it's just different over there because everyone was much more athletic. But um, on the other hand, I think people here are more technical players, so um, everyone over there was really fast, which was difficult. But um, I could usually um, see what they're going to do next faster so I could step in. And here everyone plays a little uh, more creatively, I think. Okay, well, speed, athleticism, you see, you saw that over there. Uh, was it a totally, totally different training or, or practicing culture than what you knew here? Um, not totally different, but um, we had a lot more lifting and conditioning practice, especially in preseason. That's what we did almost every day. and. I mean, here we do it too, but it was that was a lot harder, the running and lifting over there. Okay, well, you actually uh, won a number of awards uh, mm -hmm. in the course of a, a few of your seasons there. Um, I can imagine you probably had some offers to continue playing soccer in the United States after your college career. Yeah, um, but I wanted to come home because Hamburg's my hometown, and um, one of the worst things over there was that after games, everyone always had their friends and family there. And I mean, I had friends there too, but I really miss my family. And now that I'm back home, my brother can come, my parents can come watch, and it's just a different feeling when you play at home. And do they do that? Do you have some family support just about every yeah, home game? Yeah, my brother was here today again. Right. He's here often. My parents are on vacation right now, but usually they come too. Do your siblings still play? Uh, my brother plays, but not really competitively. Okay. And my sister doesn't play anymore. She doesn't play anymore. She got you into it, but she doesn't play yeah. anymore. Um, well, coming back from the United States was a bit of a, a new culture shock for you to get used to everything here. And um, I mean, now you're playing in a league that uh, actually features a number of players who have played in the United States, mm -hmm. whether they be from the States or, <coughs> or New Zealand, Switzerland, Sweden. Um, what's it like for you playing in a league now that's so internationally mm -hmm. coined and characterized? Um, I really like playing in this league, especially because it's very competitive and you have to play really good every game if you want to win. Um, the biggest transition probably was now that we practice at night and um, in the States 
the college because you play for the college it's a lot easier to study and play soccer but here I study too now I'm, I'm doing my masters um, but so you go to school in the morning then you have to rush home and get ready for practice and it's kind of like two separate things here and that makes it a lot more difficult but the league overall 